Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. For hard copy books, you can visit our website gktbooks.com. Now let's start. P.K. Mishra, Anil Ghanwat and Ashok Gulati are the members of Supreme Court Appointed Committee to study which issue? So the correct answer is to study the agricultural laws. So it is a Supreme Court Appointed Four Member Committee. Now please note that recently this panel was in news because it has submitted the report to the Supreme Court. The fourth member is Bupinder Singh Man. Now this fourth member decided to quit this committee. Apart from this, recently few other committees were in use. So recently ACC that is Appointment Committee of Cabinet approved the appointment of Malika Srinivasan as the chairperson of PESB. What is PESB? It is Public Enterprises Selection Board. Public Enterprises Selection Board. So recently Malika Srinivasan has been appointed as the chairperson of this PESB. Now please note that C is the CMD of TAFE. T -A -F -E. And she is the first person who is from private sector and has been appointed as the chairperson of PESB. In addition to this committee, few more committees were in use. Recently, Labor Ministry decided to constitute three committees to oversee the OSH and WC. Now, this is important for EPFO examination. So, please read about it. What is this OSH? It is Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code Bill. So, it is regarding occupational safety. Recently, Labor Ministry constituted three committees. One committee will be headed by D.K. Shami. And this committee is going to oversee the fire safety. Second committee is going to be headed by P.L.N. Murthy. And this committee is going to oversee the building and construction workers. Third committee is Dr. R.K. Elangwan committee. So this committee is for factories and for dock workers. All these committees are under the administrative domain of Ministry of Labor and Employment. Next question is, what is the new inflation target band fixed for the next five years? That is from 2021 to 2026. So from 1st of April, we have new fiscal year. And from 1st of April 2021 to 31st of March 2026, the inflation target is fixed. That means RBI need to make sure that the inflation rate remains within this specified range and this has been done under RBI Act of 1934. So what is this inflation range? It is between 4 plus minus 2 percentages. That means at lowest it can be 2 percentages and maximum it can be 6 percentages. So it is going to be between this range. Before 1st of April that means till 31st of March 2021 RBI already had the inflation target and it was same. That is 4 plus minus 2 percentage. Now please note that an expert committee headed by Dr. Urjit Patel had recommended this inflation targeting. This committee recommended that this inflation should be the nominal anchor for monetary policy framework and it should be within the range of 4 plus minus 2. Recently, Dr. Patel was also in news as he has been appointed as the additional director of Britannia. Dr. Patel is the former governor of Reserve Bank of India. Now, for Monetary Policy Framework, we have MPC, that is Monetary Policy Committee. Now, Monetary Policy Committee is a six-member committee, out of which three are appointed by the Government of India and three are from Reserve Bank of India. And this committee is headed by RBI Governor. Present RBI Governor is Dr. Shakti Kant Das. Next question is, what is the amount raised by the government from disinvestment of CPSC in 2020-21? CPSC stands for Central Public Sector Enterprises. So the amount was 32835 crore rupees. So this is from the disinvestment of CPSC through the share sale and through buyback. Please note that for this year, the disinvestment target is 1.75 lakh crore rupees. Now there is a term buyback. What does this mean? So buyback is a corporate action. As per that, a company tried to buy its shares from the existing shareholders. Now suppose you are a company A, B, C. Your shares are in market. Say you have your 40% shares and rest 60% shares are in market. And these shares are purchased by different shareholders. 
again it is oversimplification just to make you understand so in buyback what you try you try to buy your shares back from the market so suppose you can make it like 45 percentage and 55 percentage so you try to reduce the numbers of shares in market and you try to purchase them so this increase the proportion of your shares in the company this is buyback next question is which institution in its reports south asia vaccinates estimates india gdp growth in the range of 7.5 percentage to 12.5 percentage now in this question this range is not that much important but this report is important so the name of report is south asia vaccinates and it is a report by world bank targeted growth ranges from 7.5 percentage to 12.5 percentage apart from that recently one more report was in news and it is world in 2030 it is a public survey report so this is a report by unesco and as per this report the four biggest challenge in front of the societies of 2030 are going to be climate change violence and conflict loss of biodiversity discrimination and inequality and last one is water housing and food so this is a report by unesco in exam they may directly ask you that world in 2030 is a public survey report by which international organization next question is aim prime program launched by the niti aayog is associated with which objective so this aim aim stands for atal innovation mission it is an initiative of niti aayog niti aayog is national institution for transforming india it is an executive body so the objective of this aim prime is to promote science based startups what is the full form of aim prime that is program for researchers on innovations market readiness and entrepreneurship now in simplest term objective is to promote science based startups and for this purpose atal innovation mission has collaborated with bill and melinda gates foundation prime minister is the ex officio chairperson of niti aayog niti aayog is a successor of planning commission now please answer in comment box in the context of planning commission what is gadgil plan one more thing on regular basis i see comments that sir why don't you highlight the answer itself see when you are going to revise your current affairs the goal is before i answer your brain should select the correct answer now if i am going to highlight it at that point of time it will create a problem for your revision so for your own convenience during revision i try to avoid direct highlighting of answers you will understand it when you are going to revise this information next question is lakta center that was recently awarded with amporis skyscraper award 2019 is located in which country so this is in st petersburg of russia and this award is given to the high rise architecture please note that this is the first time russia has backed this award since its inception that means since the beginning of this award for the first time russia has got this award the height of this building is 462 meters it is in st petersburg in russia now in the context of architecture there is one more famous prize and it is pritzker prize it is the highest international honor given in the field of architecture answer in comment box for 2021 who are the winners of this pritzker prize next question is what is the name of web portal launched by education minister ramesh pokhrial nishank for ncet web portal so it is my nep 2020 what is ncte it is national council for teachers education it has been recently inaugurated by education minister so the idea is to get suggestions from different stakeholders so that a draft for the national professional standards for teachers and a draft for the mentoring program can be framed so this is an initiative related to standards of teaching and the quality of teachers next question is which international organization released global gender gap report so this has been released by wef that is world economic forum as per this india is on 140th position last year india was on 112nd position so you can see that there's a big drop in india's ranking so this world economic forum released this global gender gap report the first such report was released in 2006 and it is released on the basis of four dimensions what are these four dimensions first is economic participation then educational attainment then health and survival and last one is political empowerment so india's overall ranking is 148th and now india is one of the worst performers in south asia the top country is iceland and finland is on second position 
Norway is on third position. Next question is the Comprehensive Economic Cooperation and Partnership Agreement that is CECPA between India and which country has came in force from 1st of April 2021. So this country is Mauritius. Now why it is so significant? Because it is the first time India has signed up such agreement with any African country. So first please see the geographical location of Mauritius. So this is the geographical location of Mauritius. This is our country. This is Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal and Indian Ocean and this is Atlantic Ocean. So Mauritius is the first such African country with which India has signed such a trade agreement. Apart from that, since 2011, it is the first time India has signed a free trade agreement with any country. The capital of Mauritius is Port Louis. Now recently, its neighbor Madagascar was also in news. Why? Because India has donated an advanced digital cobalt therapy machine. And this machine has been developed by BA. RC that is Bhabha Atomic Research Center and the name of this machine is Bhabatron Second. So recently this machine was inaugurated in Anantarivo. Anantarivo is the capital of Madagascar. So these were the most important questions. Now get ready for the test. Please try to attempt the test without pausing the timer so that you can replicate the exam like scenario. Thank you and that's all for the day.